And here we have your basic angle. You have an initial side where the second ray originates and rotates away from. The place where the rotating ray stops is called the terminal side. How far away the second ray comes away from your initial side is measured as an angle. If your terminal side comes up, up, and away from your initial side, you have a positive angle. If it comes down and away from your initial side, you have a negative angle. This is equivalent to clockwise being positive and counterclockwise being negative. If your ray makes a complete rotation around your initial side, you have 360 degrees in that. And here we have your Greek letter theta. This is often used to represent an angle. You will see many different variables used to mean an angle, but theta should be your default setting. So if theta is less than 90 degrees, you have a cute angle. Now these smaller baby angles are kind of cute, so it's a cute angle. If theta is exactly 90 degrees, oh, I don't think I forgot to draw that in here, you have a right angle, not a wrong one. If theta is greater than 90, but less than 180, you have an obtuse angle. And a straight angle is exactly 180 degrees for obvious reasons. Now, the naming of these angles may be the most logical naming in all of trig and you'll see what I mean as you study further, so appreciate those. To calculate how many rotations, or how much of a rotation a ray is making around an initial side, just put the measure of the angle, or the measure of theta, over 360. So 180 degrees over 360 degrees is half of a rotation. 720 degrees over 360 would be two full rotations around and a second time. Now there's a little more to this acute and obtuse business that we need to visit before we can do some actual trig calculations. So if an angle is acute, meaning it is under 90 degrees, it has a complement. You can consider a complement a unit of two angles that equal 90 degrees. So there's your first angle, 90 degrees. You can find the complement of any acute angle by subtracting the known angle from 90 degrees. If an angle is obtuse, it has a supplement. Think of this as an acute angle that takes supplements and becomes a larger obtuse angle. And that is also a unit of two angles, but that equals a straight angle of 180 degrees. And now you can ease your anxiety. You finally have enough information you can use to do some real calculation. If we have an angle that is 63 degrees, and we need to find the complement and supplement of the angle. Well, we already know that the complement is 90 degrees minus theta. So as we know, 90 degrees minus 63 will give you 27 degrees, and there's your complement. The supplement would be 180 degrees minus theta. And so 180, oops, that's theta, minus 63 degrees is going to give you 117 degrees. And there's your supplement. Now you might be thinking easy, this, that this is easy, and well, it is. However, your teacher may give you problems where an angle is a whole equation you need to solve for x. To so plug in, get the angle, and then the complement and supplement. So let's look at a very simple problem so you can get a better idea of what that's like for a complementary and supplementary angle, then take it further from there. So here we have a right angle. And we need to find x to measure the unknown angles, with theta 1 being 2x and theta 2 being 7x. So we already know a complement equals 90 degrees. So we'll set theta 1 plus theta 2 equal to 90 and just plug in our values. So before we do that, let's get a little room here. Just get rid of all of that. And we're ready to go. 
So here we have 2x plus 7x, and that's going to equal 90 degrees. 2x plus 7x gives us 9x equals 90 degrees, and our x equals 10. Now in algebra, you would be done here. In trig, there's always a little extra. We have to plug the x into our original equation. So 2x would be 20, and 7x would be 70. These are your degrees. And there's your complements. Now your answer can be placed just like that, or your teacher might want it as a solution set, something like that. Everyone wants their answers in a different, very specific format, and some might be content just looking at your work, so make sure you keep up with how you're expected to present your final answer so you don't needlessly lose any points. No, oops, don't want to forget about my degree symbol here. All right, now on the right side here, we have a straight angle. And we need to find the angles with theta 1 being 2x and theta 2 being 7x. We already know a supplement equals 180 degrees. So let theta 1 equal 2x, and let theta 2 equal 7x, and that will equal 180 degrees. From here we have 9x equaling 180 degrees, and we have x equals 20. After plugging that in, we have 40 degrees and 140 degrees. Whoops. 140 degrees. And these two together will equal 180 degrees. And it looks like I'm running out of time for recording this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Please rate, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for the next one.